the stock in focus, which is the stock in focus today, and the stock has seen its biggest one day jump since April of 2015. After strong earnings and a bullish management commentary, we have Shifali Malik, who is well, taking us through what the management has suggested on the outlook going forward. Shifali, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Agam. First of all, the earnings were uh, stellar for Canfin Homes this time around with net interest income growth of 24%, profit growing by 44%, and the loan book grew for them by about 15%. Fresh disbursements saw a growth of 12%, and margins were very good for them this time at 3.42%, seeing a growth of almost 10 basis points on a YY basis and almost 8 basis points on a sequential basis. Their cost to income ratio is also uh, quite attractive at 15.55% and asset quality was also steady for them with both gross and net NPAs absolutely flattish on a sequential basis. So a couple of points which the management said in the con call in the morning which the street has really liked and hence the stock has run up. Uh, so one of the things that they said is that in next four to five quarters the disbursements growth will be 20 percent that is we can see that kind of growth not just over the next few quarters in fact but over the next few years as well so that is something that has gone down too well with the street especially considering the fact that we have been seeing sluggish credit growth across the financials financial services industry then margins are expected to um, st uh, remain stable at current levels at about 3.2 to 3.3 uh, percent and uh, asset quality as well they expect that to improve in the next couple of quarters. They don't see any impact of the stake sale process, um, uh, stake sale process being called off by Canada Bank, and also the management uh, expects to raise money in next three to six months. Uh, about the RERA issue, the bank, uh, the company said that the RERA issue in Karnataka that is resolved and the growth is back. Remember, in Karnataka they do have. Um, exposure of uh, about 9 to 10 percent that is the disbursement uh, um, figure this time so that is quite sizable and more importantly the management said that it expects uh, a credit rating upgrade in the next few months so that may lower their cost of funds even further going ahead and the margins may look brighter even more because of that so overall very positive commentary coming in from Canfin Homes and we can see the rub off effect on some of the small and mid-sized housing finance companies as well in today's trade such as Repco, GIC Housing, LIC, PNB Housing Finance, all these companies have uh, been in green since the morning.